now we're going to go to France and we're going to go to Paris. And in Paris, remember, it's a collection of neighborhoods. It's a collection of neighborhoods. And you got to choose what's your neighborhood when you stay in France. Every time I go to France, I like to stay in the area between Napoleon's tomb and the Eiffel Tower. And it's right along Rue Claire. This is a not a market. It's a market street. Every day of the week, people go here to shop in that neighborhood. So we're going to take in a walk through Rue Claire. We're going to put together a meal one course at a time. And we're going to start this with a little walk by the Notre Dame. Tragically, a couple of years ago, the Notre Dame burned. And the lacy black spire you're going to see on the top of this uh, beautiful Gothic church tragically crashed right through the ceiling. You'll see the spire that's on the ground after this horrific fire. Then we'll walk a few blocks away and we will get to our neighborhood in Paris, Rue Claire. Paris was born over 2,000 years ago on this island in the River Seine. And many of its highlights can be seen from popular sightseeing boats. There's the Notre Dame. And the Louvre Museum. And of course, the Eiffel Tower, built to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Paris glitters with history. Even the bridges bestowed on the city by kings and emperors tell a story. Beyond its glorious monuments and buildings, Paris is a city simply in love with life. Delightful parks let commoners luxuriate like aristocrats. Here in Luxembourg Gardens, there's a tranquility and refined orderliness enjoyed by young and old. The gardens are impeccably tended. And for generations, children have launched dreams on this pond. To establish a foothold in Paris, I like to choose a neighborhood and make it home. Strolling market streets like this, Paris has a small town charm. For those learning the fine art of living Parisian style, market streets like Rue Claire are ideal. With the help of my local friend, Delphine Prejean, each shop provides an insight into Parisian life. Delphine's planning a dinner party and she's taking us along. Shopping on a street like this is just a delight, isn't it? It's really nice. We are very lucky to be able to, to walk on the street and have all these very different shops, which are very good for Because for in shopping. America, there's one, one stop shopping. We go to one big place. Uh, we have one street shopping here. One street shopping, is it? <laughs> one street shopping. I love that idea. And I also love just palling around with somebody whose family runs a hotel right there in that neighborhood. And Delphine's part of a many generation family uh, business. Our group stay with her uh, in their hotel, and they just treat us so well. But right now, she's just Citizen Delphine. She's neighbor Delphine, and she's taking me on the walk that she does when she puts together her shopping experience. By the way, I've got an app. It's free. It's called Rick Steves Audio Europe. It's got 50 or 60 tours around Europe. And one of the tours on Rick Steves Audio Europe is a guided walk right down the street. You could stick me in your ear. There's, there's photographs. You can even watch it when you're not there. But when you are in Europe, take advantage of those tours. You can get that little intimate walk right down the street like Delphine. Delphine's going to take us on right now. Yes. The market street. It's a market street, it is. I think for the first course, it would be nice to put some shrimps and mayonnaise. OK. And uh, so you see, you have different types of shrimps. You have like different colors, different sizes as well. So we'll, I think we'll go for the moyenne, for the medium ones, which is very flavorful. Now it looks very fresh. So we'll have some meat tonight uh -huh. as the main course. And um, we know the neighbors would butcher, you know, my mom used to come here and... Uh, so you can trust the quality. You can trust the quality, yeah. you know, you know that they give you advice as well. So I'm going to have a roasted buff and uh -huh. I'm going to had a, to ask the man for, for some tips. So for a uh, roasted buff, it's how long time uh, au four? D'accord, très bien. Et combien de kilos pour six personnes? Pour six personnes, un kilo de fond, tout de suite. D'accord, très bien, merci, monsieur. So what did he say? So he said like 25 minutes. Yeah. And for six people, uh, 1,200 grams. 1,200 grams. Yes. For six. For six. Big people. <laughs> <laughs> So, Rick, a dinner without a cheese course is not complete. <laughs> Did you catch that? A dinner without the cheese course is not complete. I shall drink to that. I love the French cheese shops.
And notice how every time Delphine goes into the shop, she greets them, they greet her, her parents know the people, she knows the people, it's generation after, it's neighborhood. And when you buy your cheese or you buy your meat or you buy your flowers or you buy your wine, you're gonna have somebody that's gonna coach you along and help you and, and make sure you know what the options are. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful intimacy. I just, I really love it. Here we're going into this festival of mold, a cheese shop right across the street from where she buys the meat. We have to go and pick some, uh, some cheese uh -huh. before dessert, after main course. Uh -huh. And um, we'll have some an assortment of different cheeses. So you create a variety? Yes, I create a small plate with different cheese. Yeah. So we'll have some, um, this one looks good, some good cheese uh -huh. and uh, some blue, yeah. some camembert Wait. and some hard cheese. Good socially, I think. It is very good because you have more wine. The wine, more <laughs> cheese, more wine, more, more cheese. cheese. So once we know what we are eating, we are going to choose the wine. Okay. It's a beautiful shop. Yes, it's really nice. Bonjour. 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 We are going to talk with the expert and we're going to tell him what I'm, I'm going to have for dinner and he's going to pick the right wines for oh, us. That's good, okay. And remember, when you go into a wine shop, it's designed like the country. You can just follow every region around that wine shop all the best wines of France. There's a little rack of beer and it's Belgian beer because the Belgian beer is better than the French beer. But here we got Delphine capping it. She doesn't go to the wine shop until she's done all the other shopping because she doesn't want to buy the wine until she knows what she's going to be cooking. Then she huddles with the, 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 the wine merchant and she gets the right bottle of wine. Look at all those fine French wines for the equivalent of six or $7 each. Remember in France, you can drink outside. Unlike the United States, you can buy your, your bottle of wine and they've got little plastic wine glasses to go and head off to the, the park. The park in front of the Eiffel Tower is just three blocks away. In France, with so many wines to choose from, expert advice is welcome. He recommends a white for the shrimp, a full-bodied red from the Rhone Valley for the beef, and another white, this time from the Loire Valley, for the cheese plate. Nice to have the advice for yes. the, little de the little details of the menu. In France, any good meal comes with fresh bread, and that requires a visit to the local boulangerie. So we'll have some bread for dinner. No meal without today's bread. Today's bread. <laughs> yes, no today's French, bread. no party. <laughs> <laughs> today's bread. I mean, I'm into good bread, but I've got a lot of bread in the freezer right now, and I'm going to thaw it out, and it'll be kind of today nuts. It's just, it's good bread but they have today's bread. They, they, the French intentionally have small refrigerators, a little tiny mini fridge under the sink. So they have to go to the market every morning and check in with their neighbors. The French enthusiastically pay too much for their bread in order to buy it from the person who baked it. I'm just charmed by that. It's a beautiful, beautiful slice of Parisian and French culture. So we'll have some uh, baguettes and uh, we will have some uh, some uh, special bread as well for the cheese. Oh, so some, a variety of bread with the cheese part. And the final touch, flowers for the table. It's very bright and they're going to be beautiful on my table. It's great.